Last week in our new summer series, Walking Through the Old Testament, we started in Genesis, the beginnings. We learned about four big events, creation, the fall, the flood, and the tower, and four important people, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. We got a big picture look at the start of the history of our world, as it's described by God himself, seeing that incredible cycle of sin, judgment, redemption, and promise that repeats itself three times just in the book of Genesis, in the garden, in the flood, and in the events surrounding the Tower of Babel, and all of it from the very beginning, leaning toward the coming hope of God's ultimate plan of redemption and promise in His Son, Jesus Christ. Now in the coming weeks here at Faith Bible Church, we're gonna drop into this timeline as we navigate through the Old Testament, first in the opening five books of the Bible, called the Pentateuch, written by Moses. We're walking alongside the people of Israel as they go from captivity to exodus, then wandering in the wilderness. But before we leave Genesis, today we dive into one of the four big events that literally reshaped our planet, the cataclysmic worldwide flood. Now, to prepare to look at this section of the Genesis narrative, we asked some of our FBC elementary students how they think about the fall and the flood. Maybe you can relate to their Sunday school perspectives. How do you think about it? Uh, so all the bad people will be punished because there's people not obeying Jesus. Because all, all, all the people sins. We got everyone with that. He wanted to save them from their sins because there is a lot of sinful men and women. God flooded the earth because there is a lot of sinful people. 67 feet? I think 30 feet. 80 feet? 60 feet long. 20 feet. Really big. As long as our church property. Like this big. Probably as big as three houses. Probably a couple thousand feet. Uh, 50. 50 animals? I need 10. One, two, three, 30. 85,000. Four, five, six, seven or five. Like 100. 7,000 or something like that. Seven, eight. A thousand? Pi. You mean 3.14? <laughs> Nine. 